Well, this morning we are joined on the phone by Oklahoma City Mayor David Holt for our weekly chats. Good morning, Mayor Holt. Thanks for joining us here on News 9. Thank you. Good morning. Well, this is definitely a big week. We know the early voting starts today for the new arena, and uh, you've kind of been leading part of the way to get a new arena here in Oklahoma City, and here's your chance just to talk with Oklahoma City residents about why you think this is so important for the community. Yeah, well, I mean, it is so vital. This is a generational decision that we're starting to make today, tomorrow, and Tuesday. Um, you have the opportunity to vote early today and tomorrow at the Oklahoma County Election Board on Lincoln. And then obviously on Tuesday, 7 to 7, the polls are open for everybody. And the choice in front of you is pretty simple, right? There's been a lot of details that we've talked about in the last few months. But really, at the end of the day, it's this city that we have enjoyed for the last 30 years, this, this momentum and this rise to big league status. We all recognize what it has meant to us. Are we going to keep doing it? Is, are we going to still be a big league city? Are we still going to have an NBA team? Are we still going to have concerts? Are we still going to be this city that is now known around the world? Um, if you want that, the only answer is yes. You've got to vote yes, and you can't take it for granted, and you got to get out, and you got to have a sense of urgency about this because um, the stakes are high. And, uh, and this city that we've all built together in these lives, that we've all built together in this community, um, are really riding on this vote because if we vote no, no team, no concerts, no $600 million a year in economic impact, 3,000 jobs go away. I mean, it's, it's high stakes, but I've, I've been really enthused at the reaction in the last few months. I think our people get it. As I've said before, this is the most mission-focused city in America. I think they're going to turn out and vote yes, but obviously I'm here to remind them and make sure that everybody circles uh, the date on the calendar of Tuesday, and if you can get out early today or tomorrow, do do that and get it out of the way. But one way or another, get out and vote for our city's future. Mayor, there have been some groups coming out in opposition to this, some saying that the Thunder owners should contribute more than $50 million to a billion-dollar arena, some saying the money would be better spent elsewhere. Can you address some of those concerns? Absolutely. So. Other arenas and cities our size receive no contribution from the team whatsoever. Memphis and New Orleans got zero contribution. Our city got zero contribution for any of the three previous arenas that we received. We own, or said that we built, we own this arena, and we're getting a $50 million donation from the team. Look, I'm the mayor. I would love to have as much money as anybody will give our city coffers, but this is the offer and I don't have any other NBA teams offering me more money. The choice is not to get more money because that is not happening. The choice is that the team will be gone. And so that's what you have to compare to. Are you willing to give up $590 million in annual economic impact times 30 years for a little more money up front in a donation to the arena? That's crazy, right? It's illogical. It's cutting off your nose to spite your face. We have to take this deal. It's the only deal we have. And as America's 42nd largest market, it's kind of a miracle that we have an NBA team. Um, you know, we have, to, we have to grab this deal now or we will not get another chance. Um, the second thing you said, I've already, what was it? There, cause Money could be used elsewhere. Argument. Oh, yeah. You know, I always tell people, like, you know, the $590 million in economic impact that we, that we see every year from this has made so many other things possible. We are doing more for people at every socioeconomic level and more people across this city than ever before. When you look at the MAPS4 initiatives, when you look at so many other things happening in this community, all of that goes away when you take that gut punch, you know, by, by relocating the team and saying goodbye to all the concerts and events that happen at our arena. You can't, you can't expect that you will still have the opportunity to do those things. I'm passionate about those other things, too. I'm passionate about homelessness and mental health um, mm -hmm. and street repairs and all the other things that our city does. And that's why I'm voting yes on Tuesday, because the economic impact that we've enjoyed over the last 15 years is what has made it possible for us to make those investments. So absolutely, I, I'm, I'm basically in, in agreement with them that there are other very more important things. And... This unlocks the ability to address those things, as it has for the last 15 years. The, the amenities and the services that we've seen over the last 15 years dwarf what we used to be able to do in this community. I don't want to go backwards to the 1980s when we couldn't do those things. That's not improvement. So that's why you've got to vote yes. Mayor Holt, we really appreciate your time today. And we do, once again, want to mention the early voting starts today and Election Day 
next Tuesday. Polls open at 7 a.m. Thank you, Mayor. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's a great opportunity to keep our city's progress moving, and it's without a tax increase, which is a really important detail. Everybody get out and vote. Don't take anything for granted. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. All right.